الحمد للہ و صلاط و سلام علی نبی نا محمد و علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ In order to have our deeds accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal, of course, there are two conditions. That they're there in accordance with ikhlas lillah, that a person is sincere in their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that they are in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And in a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam in the hadith of Ma'kul bin Yasar or bin Yasir radiyallahu ta'anhu he reported that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said the reward of worship performed at a time of trials is equal in reward to an immigration to me. And this is a hadith in Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, we see that ibadah, worshipping Allah tabarak wa ta'ala at all times is imperative. And that especially during the times of trial and tribulation and struggle. And that means, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, during the times of al-haraj, meaning the time of great killing. So that when you see lots of death, lots of people trampling on one another's honor and the taking of lives unjustly and oppression, that this is a time for great ibadah. And obviously during those times, that means it is difficult. Those are difficult times. And those are difficult times to concentrate one's focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And that's why the reward is immense. As the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, that this is equal to immigrating to him. And how do we immigrate to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam after his death? As is mentioned in the hadith of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, قال سمعت رسول الله sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqool إنما عمال بالنيات وإنما لكل مريان مناوى إلى آخر حديث. The Prophet Sallallahu said in the hadith of Umar Radiallahu ta'ala anhu Verily actions are tied to the intentions And everyone should get that for which he intended Therefore he who migrates to Allah and his messenger Then he has migrated for Allah and his messenger And he who migrates to take some woman in marriage Or to gain some worldly gain Then he will get that for which he migrated for And so in that hadith it shows us the fadila Or the fadl The superiority of migrating To Allah wa Rasul and as we mentioned prior to this, migrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means migrating to the Qur'an, following the injunctions and commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. And migrating to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after his death, salawatu rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi, that means that you are migrating towards his sunnah, that you are migrating with your understanding and your practice and your adab, your manners, your akhlaq, and how you interact with people based on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, based on those pillars of ibadah, uh, those pillars of ibadah that we mention for having our deeds accepted. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith that during this time of great struggle and strife and tribulations that the person will receive immense reward if they migrate to him. And migrating to him means migrating to the sunnah in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us to migrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leave off our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.